Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt. This is D. It's day 21 of Vlogmas. It's also a big day because it's my YouTube payday. It's my regular payday. I met a huge goal and the happy mail I received today made me go running to the bathroom to hide and cry. So there's, it's big just all around y'all. It's Oh, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> I'm also going to do the usual scratchmas activities, including the taste test. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not thrilled about today. I don't like hazelnut. I don't know how many of you are shook by that. If you're a hazelnut lover, I apologize. But I had a couple of coworkers that traumatized me because they would have coffee makers in their office, which was close to mine, running like 24 seven. And they were obsessed with hazelnut coffee, hazelnut creamer. And that smell was just so strong all the time in the office that it just totally put me off <laughs> to hazelnut. So maybe today's taste test will convert me. We'll see how it goes. But here it is kind of cooling down. So first let's talk about my big day. I was up like at two in the morning because I wanted to do all my transactions and get it over with, make it officially official. I was so excited. So today is payday. For YouTube so thank you so much to those of you that have watched any ad on any of my videos basically when you watch an ad I get paid a penny per ad that you watch and so those pennies get clumped together and then a month later I get paid so this month I got paid or today I got paid hundred and eleven dollars and ten cents I love that one 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 pattern you know like when you make a wish at eleven eleven so this was a great amount but this is actually from my November video. So we basically get paid, those of us that are monetized, a month behind. So in December, you get paid for your November videos. In November, you get paid for your October videos and so on and so forth. So what I do with my paychecks is I split them in four. And so a quarter of it goes to my Roth IRA. And I specifically invest that money. So in this case, it was $28 because it was a quarter of this into Google because I figure Google is who's paying me through their AdSense program. They're the ones that clump all those pennies together and pay me out. So I've been building shares. I'm literally a little sliver away from owning three full stocks or three full shares of Google by doing this with every YouTube paycheck. So it's been building up. And so that is in my Roth IRA because what I'm doing is basically trying to set myself up for when I'm a little old lady and I don't have to depend on anyone. I can have my money coming in through my investments, through my Roth IRA, all of that stuff. The other 28 I put towards debt. So I'm going to show you the screenshot for that. And so that knocked down how much I owe on my mortgage, which means I pay less in interest. That means my regular mortgage payment more goes towards the mortgage itself, the principal than towards interest. So it's just a win-win situation to keep plugging away and keep throwing money towards my mortgage principal. Then $28 is going to go to me to buy myself something silly. This is usually something stationary related because I'm just addicted <laughs> to paper, to stickers, to pens, to all that fun stuff. And the rest of it, $27.10 goes to taxes because I do have to pay money to Uncle Sam from my YouTube paychecks as well as to the person preparing my taxes. Now with that money, as well as a big chunk of my paycheck, I was able to max out my Roth IRA for 2022. This is a huge moment for me, y'all, because I have only had a Roth IRA for one full year and like a month. And so in that month that I had it in 2021, I only put like $100 in. Really, it was just opening up the account, but it was already at the end of the year. And so this was my first full year and I was heck bent. <laughs> I'm fully funding it. So the limit for 2022 was $6,000 and I just barely made it with this very last paycheck of the year. So I've been quietly chipping away and aggressively chipping away these last couple of months just to make sure that I do meet that. And I did. So yay, jazz hands, <laughs> happy hands. I'm so excited, so proud. So literally haven't been having any sort of fun <laughs> towards the end of the year because I was just throwing all my money at my IRA, at my emergency funds, all that stuff, just adulting so hard. And thank you everyone that's watched any sort of commercial. I really appreciate it because those pennies do add up and they will help me out when future little old me is in a nursing home somewhere playing bingo and enjoying herself. All right, so now it's time for the savings challenges. Let's get the most violent one over with 
because I know this is my very last circle remaining on this one and I had already done the math and figured out what it was gonna be. So this is a $50 one. That means that now I have $350 to spend on Christmas, which means I can officially, as of today, do my shopping. If you're horrified, that's my usual. I always leave it to like the very last second because I dread going into those crowded stores. And so I just <laughs> put it off as long as possible. So here's 20, 40, 50, but that gets replaced with this placeholder and it gets taken back to the bank and literally it's probably gonna be in the bank for like a couple of days and then <laughs> it gets spent. So 100, 200, 300, 350. So this was by Cindy Cat Budgets. A very violent scratcher, but I needed it because it helped me put away a lot for Christmas this year. So thank you, Cindy, for all those heart attacks. <sighs> and now I can have a stress-free Christmas knowing I can buy everything I need to without going into debt. All right, time to roll the dice and see what it has in store. It's always on the six. Why does it always land on that? Five. There's no fives left. <laughs> Six, three, phew. oh wait, no, there's nothing on the three, what the heck? Okay, we're switching out dice, because apparently this dice is loaded. Four, yep, box four, there's one left. And let's see what that comes out to. A five, woohoo. Fives make me happy. Anything over that makes me grumpy at this point because I'm getting down to the last of my money. So I do get to do a bank run today and take some more money out. So after today, I don't have to worry so much. Let's go ahead and do this one now too. Four's already cleared out. One's already cleared out. Two, now I'm clearing out box two. Oh, the sticker peeled off. Another five, yay! Ooh, keep those little numbers coming. All right, time to learn a little something about Christmas. Look at that, there's just, well, this one's flopping around, so I'll get that. There's just a few papers left. This one says, tinsel was the first mass-produced Christmas decoration made in Europe in the 1600s. Whoa, originally it was designed to reflect the light from candles and fireplaces and was made from sheets of silver alloy hammered until they were paper thin and then cut into strips. Can you imagine how expensive that was? The material, all the work that went into that. Honestly, I have not used tinsel in, I can't even remember how long it's been. Do any of you all still use tinsel? I mean, if you're a pet owner, <laughs> the tinsel has to go because it's like the first thing the pets try to attack. All right, I'm gonna do this either tomorrow or on the last day of Vlogmas because I just have this one left and this sticker isn't cut out so I can't peel it up. So literally I just have this one left. So hold please. All right, so this one, who was it that I figured out? Oh my gosh, now I'm drawing a blank, but somebody had figured out it's the numbers one through 12, like the 12th day of Christmas. So that means I've got a 12 left in there. One, two, three, four. I have a five, a six, a nine, so let's see. Oh wait, no, I have a nine there, so I, let's see what I have. Oop, there's a six, woohoo! So you are one smart cookie, whoever figured that out, because I totally didn't. This is so cute, so such a smart idea. Now let's do a Q and A and see what you all have to say. I was loving yesterday's answers. I haven't had time to respond to all of them, but I was cracking up to some of the things that we wanted as kids and never got. What's the best or worst Christmas pe present you've ever received? It's technically not a present, but it's something that happens to me every single Christmas. As a teacher, I think my body just knows to like, you know, hang in there, hang in there, hold on, hold on. And my body waits until I'm on Christmas break and I get horribly sick all through break. So today's my first official day of Christmas break after like 4.30 today. That's when I can finally stop answering emails and doing all that stuff. So I'm just waiting to see if tomorrow I'm gonna be a sickly mess. <laughs> 
literally my body just holds off until I'm on Christmas and then I'm just so, so, so sick. And now that I'm going to brag about the best one as a kid because somebody talked about this yesterday. I got an easy bake oven. That was such an amazing gift. That was from my godfather, my Nino. I love that thing so much, but I ended up wrecking it. Like I would make the nastiest undercooked cakes in that thing, but I was just over the moon about having it. And I ended up leaving that little like arm that pushes your tiny little cake tin into the easy bake oven and it just like melted and destroyed it. So that was the end of my baking career right there. <laughs> All right, the next one. I might go ahead and knock out two of these depending on the numbers. Let's find out. Yes, a five. Oh, it finally took pity on me and decided to give me smaller numbers. Ooh, I only have a few fives left, so I'm gonna swap out this 10 for one of these fives. And now that's a five. And let's see what its little neighbor has. It's another five I could have just, yep, it was another five. <laughs> so that five goes right back in. <laughs> so, whoo, thank goodness for those two small numbers. Here comes the bingo. Today she drew two. So the first one she drew was snowman. So boom, down it goes. And then she finally drew free space. So yay, that means I only need one. I need bells or tree and I'll have a bingo. But now this one gets two, so one and two. Now let's see, am I gonna win some money today, please? So today's a Santa hat. I actually have a Santa hat sitting on my toilet tank or whatever, so it sits there looking very festive. Let's see, oh my gosh. If this had been a Santa instead of a candle, I would have won $100,000. Can you imagine that? Whoo! I would have paid off the house, bought a new car, gone on vacation. <laughs> Just would have gone berserk with all that money. Instantly funded my 2023 Roth IRA. I mean, woof, imagine what you could do with $100,000. All right, so let's see how much I have now. So. got 500, 600, 700, a giant stack of ones. Here's some more ones, fives and tens. All right, so let's see what I have now. So here is 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So I'm replacing these with two $20 placeholders. It's just so amazing. Oh, so now I'm three paychecks in to Scratchmas, and so far I've saved 500, 600, 700, 720, 740, 741, 742. Whoo! Wow! And here I was thinking I couldn't even do 500. Oh my goodness! Ah! All right, the moment of dread. Hazelnut hot chocolate. The Grinch has not been good in terms of making things taste like they're supposed to. So, so far everything pretty much just tastes like the same hot chocolate, which isn't bad. I mean, it's good hot chocolate. It's not horrible, but it just doesn't taste like anything. And I'm actually hoping this time it doesn't taste like hazelnut. Oh, wish me luck. Mm. Okay, I drank like half the mug as you can see. I don't hate it. There's an interesting flavor and it's not that like choke you out hazelnut that I'd always smell in the hallway. Mm -hmm. So it's not a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but it's a, oh, I'm surprised. I didn't hate it. So hooray, happy hands for that. <laughs> okay, y'all. So my energy is low because I've pretty much dehydrated myself crying. So when I opened today's happy mail, I got so overwhelmed, had to run and hide in the bathroom and cry, which is what I do when I'm overwhelmed. Like my lip was twitching, which also happens when I'm just way overwhelmed. <laughs> it was not pretty. Oh, so I really hope I can keep it together. 
and not lose it. But I'm gonna struggle, which is why I'm kind of on edge. Oh, I got this. So the first card was from Kim at Star Budgets and look how cute, the little gnomes and the mushrooms and then inside, oh, another little gnome, stinking adorable. Now I had put Kim in time out cause she'd gone berserk and sent so many snacks and so many gifts that I'm like, no, you're cut off, no more. <laughs> so she was good for, what was it like a month, Kim? And then she went and did a prison break and so she's right back into time out. First of all, I laughed so hard. This is amazing. So she did a D's word search mystery scratch off challenge. So there's all these words hidden here, hidden here. When I find them, I scratch it off and I save. So these are all words that she relates to me. <laughs> Very first one, happy male jail. The last one is guilt hilarious because my guilt she knows my catholic guilt just can't handle all these gifts so all these that came in today all the ones that came in this month i'm just like so overwhelmed so she put freebie for freebie fridays for the creator where, where i sell my printables i teach at a college large marge is one of my mind binders i love leopard print i make money moves it's my channel right here d versus debt big birth is my other binder corgi is my peaches Catholic for my guilt, <laughs> Freebie Friday. I'm a YouTuber, D-Bucks, which I use to pay debt. I live in Arizona. I am a teacher. Peaches is my doggo. <laughs> in the guilt, I laugh so hard. But she's like, hold my eggnog. She then gave me a whole year's worth of savings challenge scratchers and challenges. So there's a 2023 challenge where you can save $2 or $3 or $20 or 32. I mean, <laughs> I guess whatever combination you make, holy smokes, that's gonna add up to a ton. But look at these scratch off savings. Wow, they're so pretty. And some of them are so violent. Some of them are manageable, like the lucky money one for St. Patty's Day is a hundred bucks. But then like, what was it? Easter was like 400. This is perfect, saving up for school. Yes, I do need to do that for all school supplies, snacks, all that stuff. Look how cute these are though. Oh my gosh, the little turkeys, beautiful sparkly Christmas ones, and then some additional ones in the back as well as a tracker. How amazing is that? But that's not all. She sent me some green blinged out dice, which I'm so excited to use as well as a little scratcher token. Look how cute this is, a token of my appreciation. Oh my goodness, love that. A bunch of placeholders in the different denominations that I use. Another gnome one, so stinking adorable. And then these like A5 sized ones that'll fit into my envelopes really nicely. So super, super cute. So Kim, thank you. Oh my gosh. You are serving a life sentence at this point in Happy Mail Jail, girl, cause wow. This next incredibly gorgeous card, I mean, look at that, wow. It's from Michelle Jones. And she wrote a note that just completely mushified my heart. We have so much in common. So she made sure to sign it Michelle and Nix. So Nix is her kitty. And I love black cats, which is what Nix is. My parents actually have a couple of black cats and they're just my favorite. So she's a teacher as well. She's an adjunct professor. She teaches English and she's hoping to start a YouTube channel. And so definitely go for it. She had tried and then she kind of backed off, which is exactly the same thing I did, Michelle. So I had actually started this channel in 2019 and tried really, really, really hard. It was very slow going when it came to subscribers and views and all of that stuff. And then 2020 happened and just completely, you know, knocked me on my butt. So I did take some time off and then I came back halfway through 2021 and decided, okay, this is it. I'm serious about this and made it happen. So you can do it. You've totally got this. So I love the card. Thank you for all the things you said in it. And then look, thank you for the present for peaches. I actually squeaked this and her little ears like shot right up. She's like, what, what is this? So she's gonna have so much fun 
And I love that it says two peaches from NYX. How sweet is that? And then she sent a Starbucks card. Oh, she's a teacher, so she knows how coffee keeps us going. <laughs> it keeps us alive, basically. So thank you for that. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Such amazing happy mail, and I absolutely loved your card. Look at this amazing card. So this is from Stacy Smith, and I am trying so hard to keep it together. Oh, I need to go like punch something or kick something so I can not cry. So not only did Stacy write some really sweet words of encouragement. She hooked me up with a Duncan gift card, which is again, gonna keep me caffeinated and give me all the energy to teach and grade and stress about my students and all of that. Absolutely amazing. She also sent me a Burger King card, which again, I'm obsessed with Burger King. And as I'm driving home, I always pass by Burger King and I'm too tired to cook, so that's where I go to eat. So she thought of it all because not just that, Oh, she sent a whole tracker's worth of D-Bucks, y'all. So she made a payment for me. When I collect enough D-Bucks to fill out this $25 chart, I take it to the bank, which is exactly what I'll do with this. And then I'll show it in the screenshot at the end of the video. Oh, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Again, had to hide, had to cry lip had to twitch <laughs> i'm just so beyond blown away because first of all even just one of these cards is a huge gift this is an enormous help and for you to go all out and give all this oh my gosh so stacy you have no idea how much that means and how blown away i am oh <sighs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So she literally made my Grinchy heart grow three times in size <laughs> with those three amazing gifts. Oh my gosh. And last but most definitely not least is this incredible gift. And look how gorgeous this card is. Oh man. On YouTube, she goes by Sage Lavender, but her name is actually Mac Valentine. Is it Mac? Make? I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. Oh, I can't y'all. So I'm gonna start with a funny one. Because <laughs> look at this beautiful butterfly. Oh gosh, so it matches with this. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to put that in my planner. So here's the funny part. I have been wanting these clear stickers so bad for my Hobonichi. <laughs> <laughs> and in my Amazon cart, I keep adding to cart, delete it, add it to cart, delete it, back and forth, back and forth. I've been doing this for weeks because I just like, no, I shouldn't splurge. You know, I have all these things I'm trying to do right now, all these goals I want to meet. And so, you know, stickers can wait. So she hooked me up with the most amazing stickers, the ones, you know, that I totally wanted. They're clear. They're cute. I'm just blown away. Like, is she watching my Amazon cart? Like, does she know? So look at these little mushrooms. Oh, <laughs> And then these that I call imposter peaches. I can't remember the, the name of the breed because it's a weird name, but they look close enough to peaches for me. <laughs> the coffee ones. Food, because I love food. Oh my gosh, these are stinking adorable. And there's a llama on there. This one has a hollow glitter. I mean, come on, how perfect are these? And look how beautiful the postage is. Like for happy mail and stuff that comes in i can you know make a note of it in my planner with these stickers absolutely perfect stickers the letter she wrote blew me completely away i mean i wish i could read it but i don't want to violate her privacy but oh my gosh everything she wrote basically had me a blubbering mess and look at these amazing placeholders did you make these these are incredible so 500 placeholders there was one two three, 
four, five, six, seven, and I only have a couple of 500 um, placeholders, so these are so perfect. Thank you. And then three $1,000 placeholders. Look at those. My gosh, amazing. And so I cannot cry, cannot cry, cannot cry, because speaking of amazing, this blew my socks off so hard that they shot straight out of the house up into the atmosphere. They're now orbiting in space behind a satellite somewhere. She works at a bank. She's been keeping an eye on the D-Bucks and the Starbucks that come in, which absolutely blows me away. I'm picturing her, you know, checking the bills as they come in and squirreling away the ones that she knows I'm looking for. That just means so much because that takes time effort kindness i mean oh my gosh ah, i can't so here comes my starbucks tracker i've been collecting star notes which i'm going to show you in a minute if you've never seen one before the two that she sent oh i'm knocking things around because i'm so nervous and excited oh <laughs> keep it together <sighs> so on star notes, there's a little tiny star at the end of the serial number. So here's the one for this one. Here's the one for that one. So these are special bills because they were reprinted. There was an error with the original. And so, so that they know that it's a reprint, they put a star at the end. Oh, so she sent me a $10 star note and a $1 star note. Oh my gosh. So with her help, I am one star note away from fin finishing this challenge. But that's not all. As you can see, here is a $2 D-Bucks. So I collect D-Bucks to pay off debt. And I have a special stash Whew. of the two $2 D-Bucks. So she sent a two $2 D-Bucks. So there's the D, there's a lucky number two. So this goes into my collection. Y'all seriously trying so hard not to lose it. Whew. And then, as you can see, oh, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five for this stack. So I'm gonna put in a pre-colored placeholder right here or tracker. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Here goes another one. So as you can tell, I had to stop filming and get it together because I'm just one hot mess. Ah, and you don't need to hear me ugly crying and. <laughs> Oh my y'all, I'm such a mess. I'm so overwhelmed. Okay, so so we have these two and now I'm gonna start in with this tracker that I had started with the previous round of Happy Mail. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So literally, I am just, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, see, now I messed it up. Oh, oh so it's these two. <laughs> so I've completely lost my ability to talk, to think to do anything because this is such 
a ridiculously generous gift. And again, to think of all the effort that went into finding all the D-Bucks, collecting them for a while. This must have taken forever because they're so hard to find. And then the Starbucks and just the amazing card. I mean, everything. I, I've i lost my ability to, <laughs> to form coherent sentences. I am just such a mess. Oh my goodness gracious. So after I'm done filming, I'm gonna go right back and hide in the bathroom some more. <laughs> And then go cry some more and get dehydrated some more. So I am beyond excited to run to the bank. Never in my wildest dream did I ever think anyone would do this much for me, y'all. And, oh, you guys have been so amazing. So I'm going to run to the bank. I'm going to deposit the $75 and put it towards my principal. And so you'll see the transaction in the screenshot here. And I want to thank you so very, very, very much from the bottom of my heart for everyone who's shown support, for everyone who sent happy mail ever, to all the wonderful people that sent me today's amazing happy mail that just has left me completely speechless and flabbergasted, to everyone who's watched a commercial and chipped in all those pennies that add up and helped me put money away towards retirement as well as to pay off debt. I mean, it all just means so much. So if you made it all the way to the end, I really, really, really appreciate you being here. Please let me know by leaving me an emoji of a butterfly. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow for day 22 of Vlogmas. We're quickly coming to a close. Unbelievable. Have a great day.